Hello guys, thanks for uh, watching my video. Today I'm going to make a video about the top 10 biggest production CB beam antennas. Now, before I start, I want to point out these are the ones that are in production, not the homemade ones, not ones people make, but ones you could actually buy from a manufacturer. Okay, so the first one, number 10 on the list here, is the Lightning Antennas L6. This is a quad antenna and has a boom length of 30 feet. Now you'll notice on here, I mentioned the claimed DB gain, that's what the manufacturer says, and the actual. The actual is based on uh, a uh, predictive modeling tool software output where I got it, I think, close. I, I'm just based on you know, the boom length and whether or not it's a quad or a Yagi. Now quads have a little more gain than a Yagi. I came up with using a 1.3 dBi advantage of a quad over a Yagi, and I'll cover a little bit why I did that. So that's the first one. All right, number nine, the Mako 106C at 31 feet has a dB gain of around 11.2. All right, number eight on the list is the Joe Gun conventional eight, eight conventional or or the 8 plus 8. They're both 36 feet long. They're just shy of one wavelength long. 8 element antenna has a gain of around 11.6 dBi. All right. Number 7 on the list is the Jogun Super Audio 8 at 37 feet. So it's just over one wavelength. 8 elements has around 11.7 dBi. Next on the list is the Mako M107C or the Laser 400. Either one are, they're both 37 and a half feet. They have seven elements. One's in a vertical or a horizontal, the, you know, the Laser 400, you could have it either. It's not a true quad though, so it's still gonna have the gain of a Yagi. It just gives you the choice of polarity. Not to be confused with a true quad, which so far only the lightning antennas are true quads. So it won't get that additional gain from being a quad. At 37 and a half feet, it has around 11.7 dBi. All right, number five on the list is the Mako Antennas M108C, or Laser 500, at 40 feet, or 1.1 wavelengths. And eight elements has around 12.1 dBi. All right, number four on the list is the Lightning Antennas L8, and it's a quad. Actually, all uh, Lightning Antennas are quad antennas. Uh, so the boom length on this one's 42 feet and has around 13.6 dBi. Number three on the list is the Inov Antennas 27 DES7 uh, at 43.4 feet. It's a seven element and has around 12.2 dBi. And you notice here the claimed and estimated dBi match. Inov is a commercial and amateur radio antenna manufacturer. So you can see the difference between maybe a CB antenna manufacturer and an amateur or commercial antenna manufacturer when it comes to claimed dB gain and versus actual. Number two is the M squared 11M7 at 46 and a quarter feet. So a lot of people may not know, uh, M squared makes not just amateur and commercial antennas, but they actually do have two models for 11 meters. They have a five element at just under 30 feet. And this bigger one is seven element at 46 and a quarter feet. It has around 12.4 dBi. So maybe that people don't know, but they, they do make an 11 meter antenna. All right, and number one on the list is the Lightning Antennas L10 at 54 feet. It's not only a quad, but it's a, a big quad here. 10 elements and 54 feet. It's one, roughly one and a half wavelengths. And I'm giving the quad an advantage of an estimated 1.3 dB advantage over a equivalent Yagi. So in order to have 14.4 dBi, which is the winner in, in that category as well, um, you'd need a Yagi to be around 91 feet based on the predictive model tools 
that I used, it came out to around 91 feet. So figure the quad gives you a 1.3 dB advantage. You need a longer with more elements Yagi equivalent to get that same dB, 14.4 uh, dBi. So, so there you go. So here's the list in the summer, uh, summary, and if, you have, if you're on your phone, you're going to see it's kind of small to read. You might want to be, if you're really interested in this topic and, and uh, want to look at all the antennas um, in this list, maybe go on a computer or go on a, a, a TV and, and check it out. You can see the lightning antenna is L10 is the clear winner here in both the size, but also the dB gain. Like I said, it gave it a 1.3 dB advantage. Now, why did it come up with 1.3? Lightning antennas claims that a quad gives a 2 dB advantage. I think that's a little optimistic. Um, there's some people that say it's less than 1 dB. I think that's very debated. I, I think I came up with 1.3, which is kind of in the middle from what I've heard. There's a good article from W8JI, which I'll put in the uh, description. You can read the article, which he comes up with 1.3, and I have to uh, tend to agree. Um, like I said, it's not exact, but you do have to give some extra um, uh, gain uh, with the quad design. So I came up with 1.3. So if you look at the list, the biggest antenna at 54 feet and a quad is has a gain of around 14.4 dBi, where the, the lowest one here, uh, the Mako um, 106C is down to 11.2. Even from the biggest to the smallest, there's only about a 3 dB difference, which, you know, that's about a half an S unit. Now, it is double your power, but it, if you look at it in perspective, having a 106C and then upgrading to the um, the biggest antenna, you know, it depends. You know, it's, that's one of those things. If you're really into the hobby and you, you want to run one of the biggest, baddest setups, you know, then, you know, by all means. But... Don't be discouraged that all you could run is, a, let's say, a 104C or 105C or something smaller. You're only going to be down 1 or 2 dB from some of the big dogs. So, And what's interesting, you saw the quad has extra gain. So some of these guys with 75-foot Yaggies, you think about it, this 54-foot quad actually has more dB gain than a 75-foot Yaggy. Go figure. A couple other worthwhile mentions you'll see here on the bottom here on the chart is the Moonraker 6 just because it's so popular or was, um, it's no longer made, but it's a six element Yagi and it um, was 31 and a half feet long. So it had around 11.2 dB gain. And then let's mention, I, I just figured I'd mention it, even though I said these are only gonna be production antennas, but let's put things in perspective. The infamous awesome antenna Motormouth Mall built, which was this homemade monster, the, the biggest antenna that I know of ever for 11 meters super cool is um at 117 feet um and over three wavelengths long 16 elements and i didn't get info exactly what the db gain is uh, i did kind of read up on his website in some places but i estimated it based on you know again these uh, the software tools it comes around up to around 15.5 dbi and uh, you can see it's not that far down or above even the lightning antennas L10, you know, because of the quad and, and the law of diminishing return. You, here's a general rule. You have to double your boom length to get three more dB. So figure if you want 18.5 dB gain, you need 234 foot long boom beam. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's a point where it's just not worth it. Um, so... And uh, so that's kind of the summary there. Hope you guys liked the video. Now, if there's any manufacturers I missed, I did a pretty decent Google search, and these are the ones I came up with. If, like I said, if it if I wasn't able to find a manufacturer that's t being these antenna, an antenna being made today um, that I didn't find, let me know. Please put it in the uh, in the comments. Um, I don't think then they are doing a great job marketing. If I was unable to find them, I did. You know, I found lightning antennas and M squared. Um, those are a little less, um, you know, well-known uh, antenna manufacturers. So definitely put some comments if, like I said, I missed one or what your thoughts are. I think all these are good antennas and good antenna manufacturers. They all do good. So, and maybe this video, it, it put things in perspective. Like when you're looking at one antenna, you might want to consider a different one instead. Or, or maybe you didn't know that, you know, there was lightning antennas or M squared main antennas. You know, I think a lot of people in the lead meter world know about Mako and Jogun. Um, but maybe some of the others you, you weren't familiar with. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video. Take care.